This video will look at grading quizzes. So in the last couple videos, we've created this cat food quiz. Now it's time to go in and grade it. So to do this, I'm actually gonna go through course admin. So I'll click on course admin and then I'll click on quizzes. And I'm gonna find that cat food quiz. And notice I had one person take it and one person's grade is already published. So I can click on the arrow here and then I'm gonna click on where it says grade. And I'll notice here that test student has already taken the quiz and it's already being published to the grade book and uh, the score is three out of four. Um, the reason why this is published to the grade book is because when we created the quiz, there were two check boxes under the assessment tab. One of them was to auto grade the quiz. The other one was to automatically send that score to the grade book or publish it. Had we not selected that second option, we would see the score here, but this checkbox would not, uh, this wouldn't checkbox would not be checked and we'd have to check this to send it onto the grade book. Very useful if you have more long answer questions. Um, or, very useful if you have more written response questions to leave this as unchecked and then check it later. So I can view a uh, test student's attempt here by clicking on attempt one. Um, and I'll click on that. And I can look at all of her responses. And there's a last question here or question three here actually is a long answer question. I'll notice there's no score for here because this was a written response. I said, what's your favorite brand of cat food? The response was science diet. So I can actually assign a score here and I can put in feedback and say, great answer, save and close that. Now I'll notice that grade is updated to four out of four. So a couple other ways to grade these as well. This is the users page. So um, in a regular class, you would see all of your students on this page that took the quiz um, in order, and then you can click on their individual attempts. There is also an option to click on attempts, which will sort this page by all attempts. So it'll say like attempt one, attempt two, attempt three for a particular student. And the last one, which I think is really useful for grading those written response questions is by going to the questions page. You can actually, um, you can set this to blind marking, meaning you won't see who submitted what. And I can come in here and say, click on my written response question and it will give me a page and I can specify, I wanna see you know 20 students per page. There's only one student in here, obviously. Um, but then I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna see any um, identifying information from that particular student. So I can go in here, read their response, assign my score, scroll down, go to the next one, and grade all those written response questions at one time instead of clicking on individual submissions, which is, I think, a huge time saver. Go ahead and save that and close. And um, so in the grade book, is another way you can actually grade these quizzes. If I find my cat food quiz and I click on enter grades, I can come in here and I can see the submission here as well. So I can click on this and it's gonna always pop up first with the completion summary, but I can change that to attempt one. And I can actually go in here and I can grade from here as well, which is another way to do it. I know a lot of instructors that actually grade this way directly from the gradebook.